Hey everybody, Tiffany here. Uh, welcome to my YouTube channel. If you happen to pawn this video, uh, welcome. Uh, if you're a subscriber, thank you so much for checking out this video. I'm not going to make it too long today. Um, it's kind of just a, something that I realized tonight. I, I've had like a really weird couple of days. I think it's because I've had a lot happening the past couple of weeks, before the past couple of weeks. A lot of things I've had some relationships end um, you know people in my life have been sick there's just been different things going on I always say I've been in a valley uh, everybody it seems like around me is in a valley and it's <laughs> it's just like the one time I'm in a valley there's nobody there to like help me out of it now I've had a couple of people but they're going through stuff too so it's like I just really wish there was someone on that mountaintop to like take me on and just let me go along for the ride. I would appreciate that. But um, yes, I just got out of a really bad relationship. It's not been a very healthy one through the years. And um, I've just got different things going on. My job's finally feeling a little bit better. But I woke up the past couple of days at five o'clock in the morning. And, and it seems ironic because I've been in a discipleship with some ladies at church and we're going over foundations but for the past five weeks we've been talking about spending time with God finding us a place to spend God with God every day not just randomly in different places it's like find one spot and so uh, there's a lot of rain coming it's happening so far and I had to clean up I live in the bottom part of the house and so I'm having to clean everything up off the floor which has been great and I purged a lot of clothes. I guess I feel lighter that way because everything's more clean. I mean, I still have some things that I need to do. There's just not a lot of room down here, so I have nowhere to put my stuff. <laughs> and <coughs> so anyways, I'm, I'm feeling a bit better. And so I'm in this rocking chair. And so this is where I'm supposed to meet God. And I was like, hmm, I might use it for a YouTube video place. And so we'll see how that goes. And I, you know, with everything going on, I, I cleaned up and I've also been working out a lot. I teach twirling on the side. It's part of one of my side hustles I've got going on. So I was like, if I'm gonna teach twirling, I've gotta lose weight. And so, so far I've lost about 15 pounds and I'm starting to get more flexible. I do a lot of yoga and stretching, encourage my girls to do a lot of stretching because <laughs> I see them doing some of their stuff. And I'm like, how are y'all 11 years old and not flexible? I don't understand, but I'm just tough on everybody. Because when I was growing up, if I did something, I practiced at it. I remember being eight years old, and we, in the town I grew up in, we had a little league football team, and each one team would have one set of cheerleaders. It wasn't like now where you had three different teams and three different sets of cheerleaders. You tried out, and if you didn't make it, you went home. Like, you didn't get to be a cheerleader. And so I'm eight years old, and there's like... 30 something girls trying out and only 20 make it you know that's that's what it was and I practiced every day before and my mother was a cheerleader in high school and so she instilled that in me she's like I don't care what you do I will let you do it you just got to be great at it and so that's my mentality and so nowadays it's really weird because I don't I see there's a couple girls in my class that are like that and I see one and I'm like oh my god I love you because you remind me of me and you work really hard so anyways, I've been waking up each morning. I'm spending more time with God and meditating. So maybe that's why I'm feeling a little bit better. Uh, cleaning up my room, not looking so bad. Everything just, I feel lighter, lost weight. Um, my job still isn't the best. Uh, I, it doesn't pay that much, but I'm hoping the experience is worth it. And so I'm trying to pick up some side hustle. I'm a communications major. I graduated in May. And I'm trying to get into some freelance social media work uh, for small businesses. And so we're going to see how that goes. So I don't know. I guess I just, I just, I'm all restless. I've noticed it when I came home. I'm like, why? I'm just like this. I don't know why. So I figured I'd make a YouTube video. And so that's what I'm doing. So uh, y'all might hear, y'all heard me talk a little bit about it, but this is like everything. This is a culmination of everything I've been having going on for like probably the past month. And it's just, it's like in some parts I'm happy and other parts I'm just like, oh, and I'm anticipating 
and I don't really know what's going on. So, you know, if y'all ever go through anything like this, I mean, that's part of recovery. Most people like me, you know what they would do, or most people that aren't me because I'm a recovering alcoholic, most people would just have a glass of wine and like chill out and see, I can't do that because I don't drink just a glass of wine. I drink like a bottle and you know, I can't just have one drink. That's, that's not how it works for me. So, I mean, and that's okay. I've had almost eight years to get, to accept it. I'm fine with it. I let other people do what they gotta do because it is not fun when I drink. I wish it was. I always tell people <laughs> when they ask me, I tell them I'm allergic, I break out in handcuffs. That's the kind of shenanigans I get into. So anyways, I can't do what normal people would do to calm down. And so I just talk about it or I find something to do. We'll see. I don't know. I just got a lot of stuff going on. Good and bad. Well, good and not really as much bad. The bad's tapering. So probably I've been so sad and now I'm just like, woo, I'm not sad anymore. All that stuff's out of the way. So welcome to my world. It's something, you know, and, and, and people ask, and people think I'm younger and, I, and I'm not bragging, but people, man, I didn't think, cause I'll be 40 in March and I'm not slowing down. I'm still a hyper person I've always been. I'm just always go, 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 go. And I feel like if I was gonna slow down, I would slow down by now. Maybe by the time I'm 50, I'll slow down. I don't know. But, um, you know, I do a lot of volunteer work. I volunteer at my church with a lot of the kids because I have energy to match the kids. And I, and they're and they're not mine. So usually for an hour, everything's fine. They're like, how do you put with those kids? And I said, they don't, they don't go home with me. So I love children. I just, I mean, I don't have any. So I've never been married. So, I mean, some people don't let that stop them, but it, it stopped me. So anyways, um, I just, I don't have anything to focus my energy on. And so that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to find people to take a chance on me, people to have faith in me. I don't know. I'm just, it's just one of them days. I'm just restless. And it's like 930 at night. I'm hoping <laughs> instead of a, a big glass of wine, I'm hoping a hot bath will calm me down. I might fall asleep in the bathtub because that's usually what I'll do. Like I take this bath and then I'll just fall asleep because the water feels so good. And I'm like, I got to stop doing that. I got to stop waking up at five o'clock in the morning. I mean, this is the only good part. Like for me waking up, I can do an extra chapter or something, but I'm really excited about that. So Thank y'all so much for taking this time. If you stuck around this long, you might as well like the video and why not subscribe while you're at it. Hopefully, um, I'm gonna have better videos. I've already started this, get some better lighting, have a background. I'm really learning this stuff. I should have took that class at UNA to teach me how to make videos. I learned a little bit, but um, I'm excited. And so hopefully you can take that journey with me um, any comments, you know, comment below, good, bad, whatever, you know what, because if you don't, if someone doesn't tell you, you don't know. So thank y'all so much for your time. Hope you have a fantastic evening. Love y'all. God bless and take care.